and welcome to Assembly TV studio. My name is Riina Nieminen and I will be hosting Fireside Chat today. Fireside Chat is a new program on Assembly TV this year and we are going to interview some of the seminar speakers, vloggers and streamers. Now here we meet here with me I have Ville Sorsa as our guest. Welcome hey. Ville. Hey, hey, hey. How's it going? <laughs> Fine, thank you. So, uh, you're working in Remedy Enta uh, Entertainment as a senior sound designer. Yes, that's correct. How did you start your career and how did you become a senior sound designer? Well, I already have like pretty extensive career in audio. Um, I've been working with audio like more, more than 20, 20 years or something like oh. that. So, I've got a, I had my own electronic music label for almost 10 years. Uh, I've been doing freelancer work for radio, television. I've been also involved in a couple of movies as well here in Finland. Oh. So going through all that, we, I kind of progressed from the old sort of old media back to like the new media stuff and games, which is which has been just amazing journey. Uh, so the past five years that I've been working in Remedy, it's been just like so cool working on with the Quantum Break. It was just oh. amazing experience. So how many years have you been working with Remedy Entertainment? I've been there now, I think, a bit more than a five years. So it's been a quite a haul already, but like I'm hoping there's going to be many years <laughs> in the future as well. Okay. And how do you usually start working with the new project? What do you do first? Um, my methods of like sort of trying to find like the next next uh, thematics and sort of themes that we work in the games is to like find similar kind of uh, projects, movies television, Netflix, whatever. So I, I usually go through like a lot of a lot of movies and a lot of similar kind of mediums, maybe games and stuff like that. So I start from basically piling up these sort of like aesthetics together and then just like pick sort of cherry pick from other people's work. Okay. The groundwork for, for the the project that I'm working on. So it's it's a fairly standard way to work so And do you have some game or movie that is inspiring you all over again? Well, in terms of like Quantum Break, obviously Matrix <laughs> was a massive, massive, massive <laughs> source for uh, inspiration. And uh, movies like Inceptions mm. was one of the, the, the movies that we heavily sort of used in Quantum Break when it comes to designing sound for it. Mm. So th there was a couple of like really, really strong inspira sources of inspiration that we used okay. in that production. Is there some uh, some inspiration that you like go back o over and over again and it just never stops inspiring? <laughs> well, I guess there's there's few that I really like. Um, as I mentioned, like the whole Matrix series, I think We had like scenes from that movie that we kept just going back and see how they did it and what sort of audio aesthetics they had in yeah. place. And we kind of, we didn't do it exactly the same way, but like we draw stuff, draw inspirational stuff from their material to ours. And that eventually became a completely different uh, entity of its own. So there's a very, Quantum Break has, has a very unique sound. It's never been done in games this way. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very unique project to be working on. So, yeah, yeah. And uh, what do you, uh, what what is the most in uh, interesting part for you in your work? I don't know. I think I like the challenge of doing AAA games. I think it's it's a sort of a craft that like you kind of uh, learn by doing. Um, it's it's very tightly paced. There's a lot of stress. There's a very tight deadlines, especially yeah. with audio. But I kind of thrive to it. So like I, I really love to challenge myself okay. in terms of my work. So it's it's a perfect breeding ground for for <laughs> a person like me. I, I really really like the challenge uh, that like these projects bring to me. So. That's that's definitely something okay. I really enjoy. Yeah. So if somebody says like, let's do this crazy thing, and you're like, yeah, I want to do it. <laughs> no, first I'm absolutely horrified. Uh, okay. I take a deep breath, <laughs> and then I'll just go, let's do it. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and when did you know you wanted to be a sound designer? Um, it's a very in interesting question. Um, when I started my career, I definitely didn't 
think that my future would be like this. I would be working on on as a sound designer in a in a you know games de game development company. Um, I think it draws very heavily on the fact that I've got a very long route to electronic music, mm. and I had a very unique skill into just changing sounds and just like tweaking the knobs and just mm. like creating soundscape that were abstract and didn't have anything to do with the real world sounds. And uh, that sort of gave me like this very unique tool set that I didn't know how to use properly at mm. that point. But later on the r down the road, when I actually started to do sound design for commercials and, and later on to games, it was just a perfect fit. I was just like, ah, oh, okay, so I could <laughs> do this and that. And then you know, you just kind of started to, you know, really home into the, your professional skills into that sort of field. So, mm. yeah. So everything everything started from music. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you still compose sometimes? Um, not so much. Um, I used to compose a lot of music. Um, I used to be a musician as well, but like the way AAA games work, that you just need to decide what to oh, do. Yeah. So there's not a whole lot of time to do anything else than the you know develop AAA games so unfortunately recently haven't done been doing that but i'm i'm sure at some point later on down you know in in my life i'm i'm going to be go, going back into music but okay. right now just focusing on the sound design stuff so oh. yeah and your seminar was about uh, designing sound for time bending quantum break yes and actually we have a short trailer for it yes. which we can show now shortly The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. When Paul came back, he took away the only person who could stop the end of time. My brother, Will. Thing is, when time broke and changed Paul, it changed me too. something about quantum break well quantum break is uh it's a triple a game that's been developed here in finland it's sort of a transmedia experience so it's a it's a game but there's also a sort of like tv series component in the game mm. and both of these mediums are tied together so what you do in the game, um, the decisions that you make in the game, they affect the TV series. Okay. And you can pick stuff from the TV series that is very crucial to the uh, actual gameplay. So it goes, goes basically both ways. So playing this game basically gives you sort of like your own director's cut of the TV series. So how many endings are there? There's just one single ending in the game. Ah, okay. Uh, so it's, this game is all about closed loops. And I don't want to go in details why we decided to do this <laughs> sort of approach in this game, but it's just, it makes sense and it's easier. Okay. Um, so uh, the ending, we only have one ending, but like if in terms of like how many different combinations of TV series ha we have, is I think we have 42 different ways you can watch the television series so it's Whoa. quite it's quite extensive yeah 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 okay and you you were doing sound design for the game and also for those tv yes yes okay yeah. Whoa. and uh, yeah what was your part in the sound design what was your role um i guess in some some way you could say that uh, i'm i'm in charge of like creating the core sounds that creates the experience of Quantum Break. So I was very he heavily involved in doing the time bending combat that we have there, all the Jack's time powers and sort of a big portion of the signature sounds that we had in the stutters and everything to do with the you know time breaking up and you know yeah. stuff like that. So um, I didn't do all of it, but like I, I was mainly my sole purpose on, on that project was to create these assets for the game. Okay, and how big your group was? When we started off, it was just two people, uh, me and my boss, Richard. 
And uh, by the end of the project, when we were close to shipping this game, I think we had six people internally. Um, and then um, four composers and one audio coder. Okay. And then three, three other companies that were supporting us to ship the game on time. So pretty, pretty extensive crew. Okay, wow. Yeah. yeah. And you were talking in your seminar that it took four years to do this game. Yes. What did you do in those four years, or how did how did it went? Like first um, years recording and yeah, um, there was a pretty extensive um, pre-production phase where we did a lot of the original recordings. Uh, then we basically went into the production, and uh, we basically produced the entire game. Uh, did a lot of iterations on different aspects of the game, and eventually got the game together and 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 shipped the game. Mm -hmm. uh, earlier this year so basically it was just full-on production for the last couple of years okay yeah and uh, yeah you showed these fine graphics about your sign design or your uh, where you s have all these lines and dots and balls and everything that yes. you can just imagine so what were there or were there like one is sound effects one is music and um, if you're talking about the sort of geometric distortions that we had in the game, going like doing these wavy things in, in the uh, in, in the levels, are we talking about those or uh, yeah, and something else? Yeah, the picture you showed where you had all these different kind of graphs. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we have this like sort of custom tech that's really heavily tied to the uh, high-level aesthetics of like what Quantum Break is, and Quantum Break has these moments in time that are called stutters. And it's yeah. basically a an time animality that like just freezes everything, and then it's very unstable. So because of that, you can see all these environments just like doing these wavy bits, and there's like flakes and everything coming up from the ground and stuff like that. And that's all audio re reactive. Okay. So we we designed this custom tech. We're the only one in the, in the world doing this. Uh, that's audio reactively uh, changing the geometric. Uh, geometrics of the of the level, so it's a really nice effect, and it took us years to develop that, but it's wow. it, it looks absolutely fantastic. It's <laughs> like the best thing ever <laughs> in our game. Um, yeah. yeah, cool. So really happy about that. And actually, it's really interesting about the time going backwards and forward and stopping. And yes. how do you start uh, designing something that's you ca you can't have real life examples? Yeah, there was a lot of crying <laughs> involved. Oh no! Yes, um, basically, in a pre-production, it, it all looks really cool on paper. But <laughs> then there was a definite need to okay, technically, how do we do this? And it was very complex, obviously. And 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 there was a lot of a lot of work was put technology-wise to make it work. So there's a lot of different meta systems that interact between each other. And uh, one of these systems is, is, is based on granular synthesis, which actually enables us to bend time. So if I'll give you a brief example, uh, music or audio is a linear medium. So as a musical track, yeah. you have the beginning, the middle and the end, and then it's gone. Like it just goes, it starts and it ends. And this technology, uh, enables us to go back and forth, so it gives us the illusion that like we can do all sorts of neat time manipulation stuff <laughs> audio-wise, and it just sounds so fantastic in the game. Oh yeah, and uh, you were also talking that you use sound as information, mm -hmm. so like uh, the player knows where is somebody and where what powers he's using. Yes. So how much? Uh, is the design info and how much it's art? I think it always needs to be both. Um, there's a definite need in the game to do something or inform something for the player. And we use that as a driving force, as, as, a, as a designing tool to come up with something that suits for those needs. Yeah. Now, given the sort of... the Given like how hectic and how much information we were giving in Quantum Break to the player because of the, the way the game was built. It was a very um, big challenge to find suitable sounds for every single unique skill and mm. 
uh, gameplay cue that was in the combat. So um, not only that, that I, did, I designed a lot of the sounds, but we, we needed to use music as a vehicle of sending information to player, like what's, what time-bending skill Jack is currently using. So we had like all these signature uh, sound effects for the music, how the music stuttered or stretched or... There, there was multiple different kind of el um, effects that we used for music and the in-game assets, the mm. audio, that gave us the information for the player what he's doing. So, yeah. mm. were there times that you were like walking on the street and you heard something and like, yeah, that's the sound when he's doing this and that, and or was there like real life inspiration for those? Um, I think the original concepts were were tied into the sort of like movies and games that we decided that okay matrix is one of the the inspirations we're going to use there yeah. and um i i think if if we talk about like time powers they, they were one of the most difficult things to get right and we had like just a lot of iterations we we explored like a lot of different options that like what we wanted to do with the, the sound effects and I think we ended up with really nice Hollywood style, <laughs> really powerful time effects that they 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 just they're very suitable for the uh, the visuals that we use in the game. Yeah, you were mentioning that you had to do massive scale destruction, cutting edge time bending combat, and Hollywood style weapons and explosions. Yes, that sounds like a dream to a sound designer or a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, I think it's both to be honest. Um, but yeah, it was it was overall like this project was so nice to work on. Uh, yeah. Just meeting all the actors and uh, just doing all the weapon recordings and finding <laughs> explosions and and doing all the set pieces in the game. It was just a lot of fun. Um, there was a lot of iterations, a lot of like, okay, how do we do this? Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Well, this doesn't work. So, I, I think my record was iteration-wise. I think one of the sound design. Uh, sound designs that I did for one of the time powers, I did, think I did more than 100 iterations on Whoa. one skill. It was difficult, yeah. But like, <laughs> as, I, as I said, you know, you need to have challenge there. But we got there yeah. eventually, yeah, so. And uh, when you were recording, it's like you used an ex example where you were recording guns. Yes. Did you get to use those guns or...? Yes, of course. Oh, yeah. you were! Yes, of course, I fire weapons. Not in the uh, UK, because there's a gun legislation that I couldn't even touch the weapons. Okay. It was a shame, but like, you know, uh, you need to go by, by, by you know, what, whatever the local law is. And, uh, but like here in Finland, yeah, of course, always, when you have time <laughs> to record weapons, of course, we fire them as well. So, okay. yeah, it's, it's so much fun. Yeah. Did you get to do also explosions for...? Yourself or uh, not this project, but we've been talking about like um, doing an explosion session pretty soonish, just because we want to do Ooh. it. It's just like really fun. Uh, like I just mentioned, like one session that we had in the pre-production quantum break, but we did have another very fun uh, uh, recording session as well. We had like 70 ton grain crane uh, <laughs> that we used to pull up these like cars up in the air, like 50 meters up, <laughs> and we just like drop them straight back to the ground <laughs> on top of other cars and stuff like that. So it's a fun job to have. Yeah, it sounds like a really fun job. So yeah, uh, and uh, you have a wide variety of audi audio endeavors, including music productions, movies and games. So is there a difference when you start designing sound for a movie or a game or uh, only composing or... Yeah, um, there's a massive difference in scope. Like, if if I would be working in, in like, let's say, advertising industry, I would work on a a single piece of work for, let's say, an hour, maybe yeah. two hours, maybe three hours. In in a good good day, I, I might have like a day to work on it. And and let's say the other other spectrum of, of the sca scope is like project like quantum break which is just like more than four years so <laughs> this you know you have so much time to explore and experiment and just like go back and forth and just like try to really nail down the the, the tiniest details in yeah. those, those projects so in a way i do prefer to work on the bigger projects because that 
truly gives you time to improve yourself in, and you know improve the assets you're creating and and really like you Im improve yourself as a, as a sound designer when you have more time to experiment and just iterate hmm. on those yeah. assets so now when quantum break is already already finished what are you planning to do next well we already have two projects already okay uh, under development in in remedy and the first one that we just recently published is the biggest first person shooter crossfire 2 and we are doing it it's it as a co product co production with smilegate okay it's a korean uh, game development company and we're really super excited about this project because it's just, it's it's a perfect fit for our company <laughs> so very excited about that project Okay, yes, well, thank you for being here. It has been a pleasure, Ville. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. And for the viewers, remember to go to remedygames.com page, see for Quantum Break and coming, coming games and events. And thank you for watching Fireside Chat.